Flight Instruments, Knowing What They Tell You, by Bill Stack. This tutorial video is intended to help home flight simulation enthusiasts enjoy their hobby. It is not for real-world aviation. Please use it only for its intended purpose. The flight instruments described in this video apply to all home flight simulators. The screenshots are taken from Microsoft Flight Simulator because it is the most popular. Flight instruments are the airspeed indicator, attitude indicator, altimeter, turn coordinator, heading indicator, and vertical speed indicator. They tell you about the status of your aircraft in several respects. Velocity, pitch, bank, altitude, heading, and rates of changes regarding these conditions. They might look different among various aircraft, but they all report the same information. In modern aircraft, flight instruments are directly in front of the pilot because they are used more frequently during flight than any other instruments. They are in various places in aircraft from early periods, but they function the same way. Most modern airspeed indicators show indicated airspeed in knots. Older instruments show airspeed in nautical miles per hour. A few airspeed indicators show kilometers per hour. The type of speed they report is shown on the instruments. The green arc indicates safe airspeeds. The yellow arc indicates a caution zone. Beyond the yellow zone are speeds that are too fast for safe operations. The red line indicates the top of the caution zone and the beginning of the never exceed zone. The white arc indicates safe air speeds for using landing gear and flaps. The unmarked low speeds are insufficient for flight. This airspeed indicator also shows true airspeed in knots. Pilots adjust for outside air temperature, and the instrument calibrates the true airspeed. The attitude indicator shows the aircraft's pitch and bank by tilting up, down, left, and right as the aircraft pitches and banks. The symbol in the middle represents your aircraft. Pitch marks are usually in increments of 5 degrees up and down. Bank marks are usually in increments of 10 degrees left and right. The solid horizontal line across the middle represents the horizon. The blue area above it represents the sky. The dark area below represents the ground. The attitude indicator is also called an artificial horizon. It is directly in front of the pilot because it is used most frequently during flight. Altimeters show altitudes above mean sea level. This example shows in feet. Some altimeters show meters. The long needle indicates hundreds of feet. The short needle indicates thousands of feet. The skinny needle shows tens of thousands of feet. This altimeter shows 6,000 feet altitude. Pilots adjust their altimeters for locally reported barometric pressure or standard pressure whichever is appropriate for the altitude or flight level. The current pressure setting is shown numerically in a small window. The turn coordinator shows the rate of turn and whether that turn is coordinated. When the airplane symbol is aligned with the L or R, the aircraft is performing a standard rate turn of 3 degrees per second. When the ball is in the center, the turn is coordinated, meaning it is not slipping or skidding. This instrument is also called a turn and bank coordinator and a turn and slip coordinator. The heading indicator shows the aircraft's current heading in degrees. This instrument shows 230 degrees or southwest. The vertical speed indicator shows the aircraft's rate of ascent or descent in hundreds of feet per minute. It shows zero when the aircraft is maintaining a steady altitude. It lags a few seconds because of how it reads changes in air pressure. Pilots are therefore advised not to chase the needle. The optimum rate of ascent or descent varies among aircraft. 
Electronic instruments, such as this primary flight display, combine two or more flight instruments into one easy-to-read instrument. The airspeed indicator, altimeter, and vertical speed indicator use air pressure from the pitot tube to produce their readings. They work without electrical power, but if the pitot tube gets clogged, these instruments will produce faulty readings or none at all. The attitude indicator, heading indicator, and turn bank coordinator use gyroscopes to produce their readings. They work only with electrical power. My flight sim videos and books cover many important topics. They are available from quality flight sim retailers. The Flight Sim Pilot Shop, the Flight Sim Store, Sim Market, Sim Planet, and Sim Shack.